What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary, and we are back here for another episode of the Dallas Mavericks My Jam series. If you guys missed the last one, I'll make sure to go ahead and link you in the top right hand corner as well as in the description below. We play played an epic season opener versus Jalen Brown, Nas Little, and Jaron Jackson Jr. of the Memphis Grizzlies. It was Liddy, man, and Zion pretty much dominated for 35 straight points. But regardless of that, you guys, we are back here for another episode, and today it will be a double upload. So just stay tuned for that. We're going to have a double upload on the way today. Either it's already out or it's coming out. Now, before I get into this episode, we went ahead and we tried to go after Serge Ibaka, who was just chilling there in free agency. Our weakest backup position is at center. We tried to sign this man. He had a lot of interest in the squad for the one-year minimum. He ain't got no job. But this man's going to look at us. He going to look at us and say, nah. Nah, I'd rather make zero dollars instead of nearly two million dollars. So after going back and forth with him, look, we we ain't doing that, bro. <laughs> We're not doing that. So in the end, we had a pass up on getting him. Now, I also heard you guys' request for us to go ahead and, and trade Blake Griffin. Now, personally, I didn't get the whole trade Blake Griffin thing because I think that he's a great player for this lineup. But I do want to ask y'all's opinion on this trade right here. Right here, yonder. I mean... If we were to trade Blake Griffin, I would like to pick up someone like Tobias Harris, who can stretch the floor. We got a young asset in Jalen LaQuay, La LaKey, La whatever, and TJ Warren. Now, I like this trade. We get an exp expiring contract, and Blake is better than Tobias Harris. He's put up the numbers. He's a better player. as a high overall. In return, we give them two second-round picks. Charles Smith, who's now at a 78 overall, and, of course, Blake Griffin. Let me know how you guys feel about that trade. Personally, I don't want to do a trade at all. I like the team that we. I really like the team that we got. But getting that out of the way, you guys, we are gonna be heading into this matchup today. And you guys requested for me to show a lot more games this season, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Our team is the, like our team has been killing it so far this season. So let's see if we can keep up this streak. Zion is he's obviously in the All Star race. Let's see if we can actually win somebody on this team in MVP. But guys, man, in today's episode, we're taking on Cam Reddish and the Orlando Magic, the Duke teammate. Let's see if we can get this dub real quick. Let's go. From Orlando, 2K Sports proudly brings you the Magic at Amway Center. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. The Dallas Mavericks, they come in off the loss to the Wizards. No other way to put it. The defense was awful, completely uninspired. So obviously, you guys, I covered a lot of things in the intro. I covered us trying to, like, get surge. I was trying to trade Blake. And me kind of briefly talking about this game versus Cam Reddish. Like, this isn't the biggest part of this video, uh, but I did want to just throw those things in there. Like, that's why I like doing live commentaries. I've I just been so busy that I wasn't able to make, like, some live commentaries. But don't worry. Those are all on the way, man. Now, people might think that this match team is, is garbage because their, their record is trash. But, you know, Cam Reddish is obviously a beast. We know that in college. He's smacking down threes in the game as well. Luka really can't hold them. And they have the 5-0 early lead on us. But guys, like, they also have James Wiseman, who's amazing, and Mo Bamba. If you guys remember, I did help them out a little bit because before they had two centers. Got Aaron Gordon in the lineup. This is a really good team, and they got Lil Man IT running that point guard position for them. We're going to see how this team runs it, man. I, I really am interested in seeing how this team actually plays. But I do want you guys to answer my questions that I asked in the intro. Personally, I don't want to mess with this team right now. I do want to make a trade to make our bench better. But I don't want to mess up and make a trade that interferes so much with our starting lineup and with important pieces. And one of those is Blake Griffin. Yeah, Blake's contract next season is going to be terrible, for right, but for right now, it's not that bad. And he's putting up around 15 points a game, and that might not see him a lot for somebody making nearly like $40 million a season. 
but he's playing his role and that role is pretty much behind Zion behind Luka and behind Boogie and for him to be getting 15 nearly 16 points a game as like the fourth option look man normally that's a bad contract but we're trying to win right now like last season we were the number one seed we're probably gonna be the number one seed again we gotta win and if that means cutting a check we we were definitely down to do that like we are as Zion lobs it to Blake so other than that man I want to keep Blake let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below and as far as the future of this series I do want to do it for a couple more seasons then eventually move on because this is a dynasty in the making we're gonna win a championship this season or next season we we can't have this much young talent with Zion playing like LeBron oh that's nice suit yeah but we can't do that with Zion playing like LeBron and not win like this team is stacked up we are just stacked up all right so getting back into the game please look at Don just we're gonna go ahead and find Zion Williamson look at that finish this man is he's just been beasting bro that's why you guys saying that I can play him at power forward again I ain't doing that chief because at small forward he's he's damn near 90 overall and he's just killing all the competition like no matter where he's at he's a mismatch but at small forward he's just something different it's as simple as that as we get the block with Blake let's push the tempo we're gonna run it up with Cam Bazemore come on come on I like all of that man I really like the way that this team plays like we have a lot of ball movement which is something that I always like as Zion finds Kim Bazemore across the freaking court for the three I, I like that man I like having guys on the floor who can all pass here's Quentin Grimes with the contest still we gonna smack down that three like literally whenever we have our starting lineup in everybody can pass Quentin Grimes oh my gosh yo Call the homicide unit, bro. Why? James Wiseman, that man literally just got bodied. Oh, man, that is disgusting, bro. That is that is actually the nastiest thing I, I saw all game. So heading into halftime, man, obviously the team is on fire. Like I said, man, the Magic, they aren't that good, but they definitely got a future. Like, this is not like a just a trash team. If we... If we slow down, they, they might turn They might turn up on us. Like, that's probably what's going to happen. But, like, going into the halftime report, for right now, I mean, Zion is leading us in scoring. Uh, he's pretty much just being dominant. Like, there's no real way to stop him because he's so athletic. He jumps so high. He's so strong. There's no way to actually stop him. And I, and I do like the way that Boogie's been playing. Blake Griffin as well. Blake's been doing really, really well. We're heading into it. Zion has 18 points and 6 assists at halftime. They're being led by Aaron Gordon with 11. I think Cam Reddish has like 12. So all those guys are playing good for them, guys. But pretty much, I think that this team is a dynasty. I, obviously, I've said that before. But after this team, a lot of people have been taught, saying that next I should do the Brooklyn Nets and stuff like that. We'll see. But as far as this channel, I might as well throw in a quick little update. Uh, I am going to be making a lot more NBA content. You guys, are, you guys have been showing mad love on this series. And that's why I've been pushing it out so much nonstop. But I do have a Lamella Ball video people have been asking for him since I made the last one on him. A lot more NBA topics and a lot more stuff. And the rebuilds, I'm, I'm going to be doing those at least like once or twice a week. So a lot of more content coming to this channel. Man, I'm back on the ground. I feel the energy again. I'm having fun doing it. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot more content. We got Zion on our break right here. Let's just go ahead and let's push the tempo. Like at this point... That's what we on. Like, that's the type of energy we are on. We're here to dominate the Orlando Magic at all costs. I mean, right now we got a pretty good lead. We're up by almost 30 points. Never mind, Cam. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. This man is knocking down threes now. It's crazy because, like, we've done one against RJ last season. This year we're doing Cam. Next season, who we going to do is Zion knocks down that three as well, man. Let's turn up the score. Let's just run it up on them, man. But I wonder who we should play next. Like, I need more matches because I do want to show a lot more games this season. But I, I don't want to consistently show the sand games like like versus RJ, versus the Warriors, versus the Lakers, versus the Celtics. I really want to get more different matchups. So let me know some key matchups for us. I mean, obviously I want to play contenders, good teams. They're kind of they're probably they're, they're probably gonna be the same. But we'll figure that out whenever the time comes. We walk away with the easy W, 136 to 116. Mo Bamba, it was not your day, dog. We got your up out of here real quick, but we should. We are a way more developed team. Cam Rogers finished out with 19 points, three three-pointers. James Wiseman did amazing as well. Um, yeah, he, he's pretty good. Aaron Gordon was nice as well. He hit he he hit three threes. Mo Bamba with 12 and 12, and he also smacked down a three-pointer. So good for them. 
solid game. For us, Zion with another triple double. Every time I play with him, he, he gets triple double. 29, 10, and 11, two blocks, one three pointer. Boogie, 16 boards. He ain't hit no threes. Blake Griffin, 22, 23, and 14, and five assists as well. Quentin Grimes with 21, six, three steals, and three blocks, and he was perfect from the three. Now, Luka Doncic has been struggling a lot this season. Hopefully, he starts to heat up because we need him if we're going to even have a shot at even making it back to the conference finals. So other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know who we should play next. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.